This prolapse has been with me since my last child was born. 50% of women who've had children have pelvic organ prolapse. Having a prolapse feels like you've got a plum down the bottom of your vagina that wants to come out, but you can't get it out. So some women will get a heavy dragging feeling, um, they might get back pain um, and they'll be aware of a bulging at the vagina and if it's actually coming right out it can be really uncomfortable because it can rub on underwear and you can get abrasions and bleeding and risks of infection. We were told about pelvic floor exercises and we all practiced them religiously and then forgot them I suspect the minute we had the babies. 27 years ago, my GP, who delivered all three children, his um, answer to it, his solution was, get rid of the uterus. And I took great offence to that and didn't get rid of the uterus. I did go back to see a gynaecologist, thinking he would probably say, it's time to, to do the surgery. But he didn't. He actually said, no, um, go and see a physiotherapist, work on your exercises, what are the symptoms that you've got? Well, I feel as if the uterus is quite low down. When I assessed her pelvic floor muscles, I found that they were weak. So I started her on a programme to strengthen up the pelvic floor muscles and build up the endurance. And then we worked in a more functional way So while she was doing activities. I'll talk you through now how to do the pelvic floor exercises. The exercises that Liz gave me were um, pelvic floor tightening working with breathing, with the deep breathing from the diaphragm and pulling up through the pelvic floor. Tummy muscles should pull in but we shouldn't be seeing that sort of thing there. And the one that helped the most was sitting on the toilet and breathing, using that pelvic floor exercise then and I think that probably was the most effective. Does it cause any discomfort? No. no. I gave her a lot of advice about lifestyle factors. So it's really important that she doesn't do heavy lifting, but if she does have to lift, that she knows how to lift correctly. Most of last winter. Most of the winter, yeah. OK. So you had a, had a cough. Yeah. We teach them how to, to huff rather than cough so that they can remove any secretions in their lungs more easily so that they're not straining their pelvic floor. The physio recommended a high fibre diet and to avoid constipation. You have to work on it, you have to think about what you're doing to, to have it make a difference. It's not something that will just go away. You've, the state of my prolapse I suspect is such that I have to remember to do those pelvic floor exercises quite consistently. So I've persevered and with the help of physio it's been effective. I think that women do suffer in silence with prolapses and I think that's actually really sad because there's help out there and it's so easy to access it. I have friends who've gone ahead and had surgery and I'm sure they didn't need to have surgery. In Susan's case, the, the treatment has actually reduced her prolapse, but more importantly, her symptoms aren't bothering her anymore. So she's really happy with that outcome. I think I'm winning a little battle here with help from the physiotherapist. <laughs>